if we just focus from the inside out, we'd say, let's figure out what is the cotangent of negative 5 pi over 3. And since I'm so good at applying my unit circle, I'm going to go in the negative direction. Negative 5 pi over 3, or negative 6 pi over 3, is all the way around the circle, right? That's 2 pi. So 5 pi over 3 is just going to be pi over 3 short. Agreed? Mm -hmm. So then I say, well, what is that coordinate point? That coordinate point is 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. So the cotangent, which would be the x over the y, and then I already know what that simplifies to, even though it's over there as well. I know that's going to simplify to square root of 3 over 3. So really, this is equal to square root of 3 over 3. Now, is it positive or negative? Well, the negative angle takes us to the first quadrant where cotangent and tangent are both positive, right? So this, is, this answer is square root of 3 over 3. And then all we're going to do now is take the tangent inverse of that, right? So you work this to get to that, and now you just got to take the tangent inverse of that. So now you got to say, well, when is tangent inverse square root of 3 over 3? It's obviously not at pi, at pi over 3. It's going to be at? Well, no. When is the y coordinate over the x coordinate going to be square root of 3 over 3? Negative yeah, it's, well, it's going to be pi over 6. Right? Because it has to be this coordinate point, square root of 3 over 2, comma 1 half, right? y coordinate over x coordinate. And then obviously, since it's positive, we want to stay in the first quadrant. So therefore, that angle is pi over 6. So all you're doing is I'm just giving you guys another round. You're just going to do two problems, basically, now, within one problem. 